Post artist Stephen Dohanos was inspired by everyday scenes and commonplace items. For example, he had a fascination for fireplugs. He told the editors, They're almost the first thing I see in any city, and they're nearly always different. His observations of the ordinary inspired him to capture poignant scenes, sometimes humorous, but always appreciative of the world familiar to post readers. So familiar that many readers felt encouraged to send the post their comments and criticism on Dohanos' covers. After seeing this 1944 cover, for example, a mother wrote the post editor that it stirred sweet memories of her son, who built model airplanes in an attic corner like this one. Her boy, she said, was now flying combat missions in the war. This cover angered one reader who felt it glamorized hot rodders. Instead of these young people building dangerous cars, she wrote, their parents should have them at some kind of work that would improve their minds. This cover from 1952 stirred a variety of reactions. While a man wrote to say that he had no sympathy for a woman who chose to be a housekeeping martyr, several women acknowledged the reality of the painting. One wrote simply, Never did think I'd be a cover girl. Course, it doesn't look too much like me, but it's me, all right. Not all of Dohano's covers featured everyday life in America. His first cover featured this strange apparatus, an anti-aircraft listening device designed to catch the sound of approaching airplanes in the days before radar. Dohanos also illustrated fiction in the post. One story from 1958 concerned a conspiracy in Moscow. One of the story's characters was a sadistic torturer. To get the right face, Dohanos had a celebrity model pose for him. Don Knotts. One of Dohano's covers shocked the people of Montreal, Canada. When the Valentine's Day issues were delivered to newsstands in the city, they were quickly hidden under the counter. News dealers felt the post violated the city's ordinance against magazines with doubtful covers. As a result, the issue quickly sold out. This video is brought to you by the Saturday Evening Post Digital Archives. Saturday Evening Post members can explore our 200-year-old archive and receive six issues of the Post Print Edition for only $15 a year. Subscribe today.